The Guam International Airport Authority will be the first to play host to officials from ratings giant Standard & Poor's on Wednesday. S&P will receive a familiarization tour of the airport property and an extensive presentation on the history of GIAA and past and future projects. Airport Executive Manager Chuck Atta says the pitch will be made to show that GIAA is capable of a stronger rating. What we want to do is um, show them that our financial portfolio you know, is, is strong enough you know, for the ratings that we deserve and then turn that we can go out to the market and um, refinance our bonds this coming summer. As we reported, the airport is looking at the possibility of refinancing $150 million in bonds that could equate to $50 million for capital improvement projects. The other option is to utilize lower interest rates to save about $2 million in debt service. Either way, Adder says how much money the airport will save will depend on the rating from S&P. Now, part of the presentation will also include the airport's financial portfolio. With a multi-million dollar airport specialty retail concessionaire request for proposal lingering, questions have surfaced about whether the lack of an award of the contract will have a negative impact on the airport's bond rating. Not at all. Um, I think, as a matter of fact, it's going to actually help us with the bond rating because um, it's been quite some time since it's you know been in place, and with the renewal of the contract, you know, um, well, once it's awarded, it will actually bring in more revenues to the airport, so it actually again help us with our so our financial portfolio. As we reported, the airport is on a month-to-month -month contract with DFS Guam LP to continue the specialty retail concessions until the board awards the contract. Formal interviews with the four bidders were held back in December, and an evaluation team was established to review the proposals and present their findings to management, who will then make a presentation to the board. The presentation was expected last month, but Addis says there have been some delays in the process. Well, there was concerns, you know, uh, with regards to the contract from the community, so we want to make sure with our legal counsel that, you know, prior to the evaluations, all those items were addressed as opposed to midway through the evaluation process. So once we got those things ironed out, that's when we proceeded with the evaluation of the uh, submitted proposals. Whether those evaluations will be done in time for the board's meeting scheduled for the last week of February remains to be seen. Reporting for Worms News Network, I'm Mindy Egan.